Hi, welcome to another episode of Five Business Rules. I am Monica Jansen, head kick-ass copywriter and strategist at Jansen Communications. And I'm Nicole Krug, digital strategist and founder at Socialite. And we're a little giddy because we're outside and we're pretending it's the real life. Oh. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're gonna talk about email marketing. So I did some research and I'm gonna share the results of it with you, but Nicole was one of, one of the reasons I started looking into what makes email marketing um, effective and successful. So I send out a monthly newsletter to my list. I've been doing it for years. Nicole recently started sending out a weekly email, which I love. They're short, sweet, they're interesting. And um, a couple of other people who I really admire are also doing weekly email. So I was like, hold the phone. Should I stop doing monthly? Should I switch to weekly? What do the statistics say? So as she goes in here, and I'll also say, like, so this this was, um, I'm a bad marker. I, I'm great for my clients, terrible for myself. So I this was actually my motivation to get myself to do more for social life. But I, because I was sporadic, but I also realized it wasn't fair to be sporadic and then start hitting people. So I actually give people a choice. When you, um, you there is a preferences part of my email, so you can choose to get a quarterly newsletter for me, and I won't bug you all the time. But if you want tips and if you're learning, then you have the option to get it every week with it. And so there, it, you know, we'll listen to the research, we'll look at the stats, but I do want to mention it doesn't have to be one or the other. Yeah. Um, great bonus tip here right at the beginning. Um, okay, so I looked at a couple of things because remember I'm talking about should you should I be sending emails more frequently or is once once a month or once a quarter okay? Well, I learned something about length. Length almost matters more than anything else. The ideal length for um, an email is between 50 and 125 words. That's not a lot of words. <laughs> at all. Um, you could, some, some of the um, research or studies show that you could go up to 200, but really with marketing and with email, we've talked about this a million times, I mean just go short. Short short copy is your friend. So one of the things to keep in mind is, I'm, I'm not, I don't have the stat in front of me, but I'm going to say it's 81% of email is read on a mobile phone. Um, oh, wow. we are, that doesn't surprise me. We are on yeah. the go. We are there, and so you cannot do blocks of text. Um, and if it takes some, if it takes somebody longer than two minutes to read your email, they're gone. You could even do that as a test. You know, how long does it take you to read it? Um, okay, so frequency, frequency matters. <laughs> Emails sent once a month have the highest open and click through rates. Rates are about twenty eight percent, and click through rates are about seven percent. That's for email sent once a month. For email sent two to four times a month, so this is, would be on Nicole's more frequent schedule, they have lower and open click-through rates of 21% open rate, 5% click-through rate. Those aren't horrible. But th that is a, a statistically significant difference. So, and I will actually tell you, the if I look at the ones that I send quarterly, that open rate is actually in the mid 30s to 40 percent for me. Um, and the ones that I spend weekly, it started it started in like the 50s and 40s, but the, as time went down, it's it's the mid 20s um, yeah. sometimes. And it is, the, and I've seen this with some of my clients and blogs too. Is that like when on one hand, when you're sporadic, people are like, oh, I finally got an email from you. I'm gonna read it. Wow look at you, you're here, you're alive. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, and Nicole's emailing me again, right? It falls down and that's when your subject line matters and we'll, different video. Okay, so we've talked about length, we've talked about frequency. Here are two other factors. The value you provide. Are you helping or are you just talking? So Nicole absolutely always shares something of value, whether it's an insight or it's a tip or it's kind of a push to fix something. You. You might be um, ignoring, or maybe you're doing it wrong. I get I get value out of her emails. Like I open them. I think I missed one because I was away on spring break. How dare she? <laughs> I was on vacation. I mean, such a flatter. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I always always open them. So that's going to be a really big factor too. So like the first couple emails um, that people open from you have got to be chock full of value. They're going to read you first. I get asked this question a lot of how often is too often or how much or how what's the optimal and my answer is always this spam is spam is spam is spam and that doesn't matter if it happens once a year once a day don't email 
just because you're on a schedule if you have nothing valuable to say. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Don't, don't. Definitely don't do that. Just skip it. It's okay. No one's gonna notice. <laughs> no one will notice. All right, so the fourth factor is what your audience prefers. And if you don't know, you can ask them. So Nicole, at the beginning of this video, said she lets people opt in to get a quarterly email from her if they don't want to hear from her weekly. That's awesome. This isn't hard to do. Um, Nicole can talk more about that. <laughs> or actually, you can contact Nicole if you'd like to learn how to do that, or her company can set it up for you. And I think that is just a perfect ending. So. We'd be happy to. Um, <laughs> thank you for joining us. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Um, but otherwise, we love feedback, comments, and especially shares. Thanks. Bye. Bye. That's awesome.